Yo guys welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get this cool modded outfit in GTA Fan Line. This outfit does consist of the Tron top, the Tron pants, the Tron shoes and also the CEO vest. If you do like today's video or want to see more please do check out my other videos on my channel and also subscribe. Definitely watch till the end of the video to learn all the steps on how to do this glitch for yourself and without further ado let's get into this video. So to start this glitch you need to go to any clothing store on the map go up to the front desk and then go on to edit outfits once you've done that you need to pick an outfit you would like to save as this is a transfer glitch and deletes all your outfits so if you're not comfortable with deleting all your outfits and sacrificing them then there's no way of doing this glitch from there go on to options online and then go on to swap character you should come up to an open menu like this and um, you should see your main character on the left and your second character on your right. You need to go to your second character and if you haven't already create one. So if you need to create one make sure it's a woman and it isn't a male otherwise it, it will not work. So once you've made a female guys all you need to do is load in. Once you've loaded in, you should see that uh, there's a couple clothing stores on the map. If there isn't any clothing stores there, guys, all you need to do is join a new session. Try to be in passive mode, guys, as it does help you not being disturbed doing this glitch. From now, guys, all you need to do is go up to the accessories and make sure your character does not have any earrings or any gloves or anything like that on. Mine is a pre-existing character, so I will be editing it off that. It does not matter if it's a new character or a pre-existing one. From there, guys, uh, you do need to scroll down and then you do need to get to the black woolen gloves, which should be number 59. From there, guys, you need to go over to the pants and you do need to purchase the black battle pants this should be number 37 and 38 once you bought that go over to the tops from there scroll down until you get to biker cuts now scroll down until you get to number 50 and purchase it Once you've done that, go down to bikinis and scroll down until you find the black bikini. So once you get to that bikini, all you need to do is purchase it and now you're done for the first outfit of this glitch. Make sure you go on to utility vest and equip a body armor. You do need to equip a heavy body, body armor and not a other one because many people have tried doing this glitch as a super heavy body armor and it unfortunately doesn't work. So make sure you have a green body armor on before you go up to the front desk and save your outfit. From there, delete any pre-existing outfits you have if this is an already existing character. Once you've done that, you need to save this outfit in the second slot. Once you save the first outfit in the second slot and equip the body armor, all you need to do is go over to the clothing and go down to boots. Once you're on boots, guys, you do need to scroll down to number 33 and purchase it. Once you've purchased it, go on to pants and yes again you will need to purchase some new pants. These ones are the sports pants and go on to the sp spotted muscle pants which should be number one. From there you need to go on to body armor again and as you can see it has unequipped so re-equip the heavy armor and then all you need to do is save the next outfit in the second slot. So guys you should leave the first slot empty, put the first outfit in the second slot and the second outfit in the third slot. From there, go onto your interaction menu and then take the easy way out as it will force the game to save. Once you've loaded back in, go onto online, scroll down to creator and once you're on creator all you need to do is load it up. From there, go down to race, scroll down to lamb race and create a lamb race. The title, the description and the photo do not matter so put it whatever you like. This does matter. You need to put the maximum plays onto 3 and you need to put the route type to point to point. That is all you need to do. From there, you can choose a supercar if you would like to make it go quicker. From here, go onto your map and choose the army base or the air base. You need a straight track because you need to be creating a map. So then place a trigger on the floor, take a lobby camera and now you do need to put the point to point. You need to stretch the race out for a mile otherwise it will not let you test it. Once you've done that you should be able to race the test and once you've done that all you need to do is follow the next steps.
you can pick any car for doing this glitch, it does not matter and it isn't relevant. Once you complete the race, you do need to make sure that you follow the next steps very carefully because many people lose their first slot characters and all their work goes to waste. So you do need to be careful which character you are deleting, but I'll get to that when the time comes. Once you've done that, all you need to do is finish the race. Once you've finished the race, all you need to do is accept the first alert, then scroll down to online and then go on to choose character. You should open up with this menu again and all you need to do now guys is be very careful of what character you're deleting. You need to delete the second character which is the female you've just been working on. Make sure it is a female guys and not your main character otherwise you'll lose all your progress. You do need to put a verif verification code in to delete that character, so once you've deleted your second character and your first one's there, you make sure that it is your first character you're going to go to GTA 5 on. So hover over your main character, click B or circle and back out, and it should take you into story mode. Once you spawn in, all you need to do is click options and now create a invite only server. If you don't know how to do that, go on to online, go down to play and then all you need to do is click invite only. To know that you've done the glitch right, you should spawn in on the outfit that you originally wanted to save. So, as you can see, if you don't say, uh, if you don't spawn in with the outfit you originally saved, the glitch has not worked, and you'll have to retry it. If you followed all the steps correctly, you should see that you spawn in on your your normal character male. Once you've done that, all you need to do is go to the closest clothing store on the map. From there, uh, save the outfit to number 10 slot guys try to get it to be away from the others as you don't want to mix them up once you've saved your main outfit to slot 10 or a bit further away you need to register as a CEO once you've done that go on to secure or serve and then go on to management once you're on management you do need to pick the style and now is the time you need to get the CEO vest if you don't know how to do that go on to CEO style and pick the one with the vest which should be called warlord or CEO style once you've done that, go into this blue ring. If you don't have this blue ring, I'll show you how to get it, but make sure your spawn location is on last location. Once you've done that, go on to hide options, jobs, and make sure it's on show, so all the blue jobs on the map will appear. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the job on your own. It doesn't matter about any of the settings, just click continue. Then wait about 15 seconds before you leave, and then all you need to do is simply leave the job. As you can see, you should spawn in in your normal clothes. From there, all you need to do is run into the clothing store and click R on the D-pad. Once you've done that, you should back out with the CEO vest. All you need to do then is leave the CEO, go up to the front desk and make sure you save the outfit. Save the outfit to around number 9 and make sure whilst you're joining this new job, you have got it equipped. So make sure you do have the CEO vest equipped. From there, go on to online, go on to job play job rockstar created go down to verses and then start up a crooked cop now is the time you need a friend or get a random to join so all you need to do is scroll down and make sure the clothing is on player owned if it isn't on player owned you will have to restart the glitch from there invite a friend or a random and then start up the job in this case i did use a random and then once you've done that all you need to do is click launch the session Once you're in it, go down to owned outfits and scroll what two to the right. So scroll two to the right guys and then you should see this new uh, outfit. Don't worry for the gloves as it is a glitch and you can change whatever piece of the outfit you don't like later. Once you've done that, start the job. Tell your friend or the randomer to join and then click start and then once you've readied, you should be the main cop. As you can see you have the modded outfit that is in the thumbnail there and in the beginning of the video. All you need to do now is equip an airpiece and then follow the next instruction into the car. If you don't have an airpiece all you need to do is go over to the closest gun store and go and purchase one at the accessory bar. Once you've equipped one guys you need a LCD airpiece, a grey or a red one. Get into the nearby car which is a white street car and then once you're in it you just need to drive down to the closest suburban clothing store. 
as you can see it's only a two minute drive down the road so once you get there just recheck that the earpiece is in and simply leave the job via your phone if you don't know how to do that I'll show you how to do that now to check that the earpiece is still in, go onto your interaction menu, go on style, accessories and check it's still there. Once you've checked it's still there, go onto your phone, jobs and then quit the job via your phone by clicking square and then X. It shouldn't take too long for you to load out and once you do you should see that the outfit you wanted to glitch is there. It should also have the CO vest and if you would not like the CO vest with it and only have the black joggers, the Trump pants and the tron top and the tron shoes all you need to do is forget the step about the ceo vest so don't start a ceo and then skip that step if you like the ceo vest please do keep it and then all you need to do now is run over to the closest clothing store to save the outfit once you're there guys you can take off the earpiece or keep it it doesn't really matter as it doesn't affect the outfit in any way I choose to take it off and then now guys it's fully customizable as you can put helmets on it, rebreather, you can change the gloves if you don't like the blue ones which I currently don't. So all you need to do now guys is save the outfit and then go ahead and change whatever you would like. I do hope you enjoyed this video guys and please do recommend subscribing because it really helps me out and also guys we're on the road to 3 mil, uh, sorry 3k. Um, but I will be giving away quite a lot of money. So um, if you would like to have GTA money, I am doing a gift card giveaway. So it is not a fake one. I go out um, on a website and then I purchase a code depending what you win on. So it can be a PlayStation one, it can be an Xbox, or it can be a PC Steam gift card. From there, all you need to do is wait till I get to 3K and then enter a giveaway. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I'll see you next.